Dorothy lived on a farm in Kansas with her aunt and uncle and her little dog, Toto. One day, a terrible tornado came and picked up the house. The terrible wind spun the house around and around and around. Dorothy was hit in the head with a piece of wood and fell to the floor as the house continued to spin around. When Dorothy awoke, the house had finally stopped spinning. She cautiously opened the door. This doesn't look like Kansas. She noticed a crowd of happy people who cried, Thank you for saving us from the Wicked Witch of the East. And there, sticking out from under the house, were two feet wearing red shoes. Dorothy's house had landed on the Wicked Witch. Oh dear, said Dorothy. Just then, Glinda, the Good Witch, appeared and offered to help Dorothy get home with the help of the Wizard of Oz. Take the magic red shoes from the Wicked Witch's feet to the Wizard of Oz, and he will help you. Just follow the yellow brick road to Oz, the Emerald City, said Glinda the Good Witch. Just then, the Wicked Witch of the East sister appeared. She was the Wicked Witch of the West. I want those red shoes, she hissed. Dorothy hurried away with her dog Toto down the yellow brick road to the Emerald City of Oz. She met a scarecrow who needed a brain. Come with me, and the wizard can help you too, said Dorothy. They all set off down the yellow brick road. Soon they met a tin man who needed a heart. He joined them on their way to see the wizard. Later, a lion leapt from the forest. Toto barked loudly and the lion began to cry. I am supposed to be the king of the animals, but I have no courage, the lion said. The wizard can help you, said Dorothy. Oh. And the lion joined all of them on their journey to see the wizard. Soon they saw the Emerald City in the distance. They met the Wizard of Oz and he asked them to bring the Wicked Witch of the West's broomstick. Aww. We have to do it, they all agreed, or they would not get the help they needed. The Wicked Witch could see through her magic crystal ball that Dorothy and her friends were coming to get her. The witch sent out her magic monkeys who fought off the lion, the scarecrow, and the tin man. <laughs> the monkeys brought Dorothy and Toto to the witch. The witch locked up Dorothy and took the red shoes. Toto snuck away to get their friends to help rescue Dorothy from the wicked witch. Dorothy's friends, the scarecrow, the lion, and the tin man, crept into the castle and freed Dorothy. When the witch saw them, she shot sparks at the scarecrow, who burst into flames. Dorothy grabbed a bucket full of water and threw it on her scarecrow friend to save him. She also managed to soak the wicked witch. When the water hit the witch, she started to melt away. I'm melting, I'm melting. And soon, the Wicked Witch was just a giant puddle. Dorothy and her friends grabbed the witch's broomstick and headed back to the Wizard of Oz. When they arrived, the wizard admitted to them that he was just a regular man and he was no wizard. But he did have some things that would help them. He gave the Scarecrow a diploma, the Tin Man a clockwork heart, and the Lion a medal for bravery. Oh. But how can I get home to Kansas, asked Dorothy. Just then the good witch appeared and said, Don't worry, you helped your friends and I will help you. Just click those red shoes together and say, There's no place like home, and you'll see. So Dorothy said goodbye to her friends and picked up Toto 
and clicked her heels together three times, while saying, there's no place like home. Magically, she was home with her aunt and uncle in Kansas. What an adventure, thought Dorothy. There really is no place like home, she said, as she hugged her aunt and uncle and her little dog Toto. The end.